Hello everyone, wanted to take a minute and talk to you about lighting and how important it is when you're starting your seedlings. Um, temperature and lighting are probably the most important aspects that you can control when you're starting seedlings at home. Uh, if you don't have enough light, you're going to get stretched seedlings that are going to be weak. They're not going to transition well to the outside. Uh, your tomatoes, your broccoli, cabbage, those guys are prone to stretching. And so let's just go over some inexpensive, but also some long-lived ways that you can control your light when you're starting seedlings. Now I'm on the floor because I wanted to talk about our setup here that we use for our kids in the garden classroom. Um, and these are just simple fluorescent shop lights. We bought them at the local hardware store. Um, you can find them all over the state and all over the country really easily. Uh, this is about the most inexpensive way to do lighting for seedlings. Um, to buy the cool white light bulbs that are typically used for our fluorescent light fixtures, uh, they provide more than enough light for our seedlings and you just need to keep them about one to two inches above the seedlings at all times. So as the plants grow, you raise the light, they keep growing, you keep going up. Um, this is a simple and expensive way. Uh, if you want to, you can purchase, uh, this is a plant and aquarium fluorescent light bulb. Uh, these are called uh, T8s. Uh, you can buy these at your stores. I've seen them at uh, some of your larger stores. You can also purchase them online or have them ordered in from your local hardware store. Uh, these guys produce a full spectrum of light that plants need. Uh, they are more expensive, but they do produce the full spectrum. However, for seedlings, it's the quantity of light, not the quality of light that they need in order to grow, especially since we'll be transitioning them outside. This works great if you have house plants that you want to grow and keep inside year round, but the cool white bulbs for the purposes of starting seedlings work really well. The other option is LED bulbs. Now in the plant world, LED bulbs are relatively new. Um, you can buy grow lights. They tend to be more expensive to start with, but they are longer lived and they, are, they use less energy than a fluorescent light bulb. Uh, so they may cost more to begin with, but they may last, that cost less over their lifetime just because they last longer. You'll wanna make sure that you get an LED bulb that has both red and blue light. That encourages your growth of vegetation and also your encourages flowering. Um, the one concern with Fluorescence and LEDs alike is you need to make sure that the plants are getting an even coverage. So with your LEDs, you really need to pay attention and make sure that your light is adequately overlapping. Otherwise, those plants that are between the light bulbs are going to stretch because they aren't getting the light they need. Uh, but really, any light option that works for you will work well for seedlings. Uh, it's just a matter of what you want to spend. Now make sure that your seedlings have light for 14 to 16 hours a day. You can use a timer to make sure that your lights turn on and off as they need. And um, with good lighting, you can grow, this is a pepper plant, um, grow strong, healthy seedlings that will be ready to plant outside as soon as the weather is nice. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your local extension office. And I hope you learned something about um, ways to grow seedlings and the importance of light with our seedlings. Happy growing! Mm -hmm.